Ahoy folks, Triss here in a relatively unscripted video to go over thoughts and impressions on the new firmware update for the Switch, version 14.0, which adds folders. So you can basically consider this a casual review. Now I say folders, but technically they're called groups. Sort of the same thing, not quite actually, but I'll get into that in a moment. So these are hidden behind the all software section meaning you need to have enough Switch titles or downloaded content on your Switch to actually access the All Software menu. Then, when within the All Software menu, you can actually access the groups. It's a shame we can't access it anywhere on the home screen with the simple press of a button, but thankfully, you can just tab left from the very start of the home menu and immediately reach All Software. So, it's only about an extra button press. So, the reason why these are groups instead of folders is that this works more like assigning tags to a group of titles and then grouping them together. So multiple titles can go into multiple groups. So for example, I could put Mario Kart Deluxe in multiplayer, favorites, and Mario, rather than having to designate it only to one of them. That's how folders worked before, like back on the 3DS. A title can only go in one folder and has to stay in that folder unless you take it out of that folder and move it into a different one. So groups working sort of like assigning a tag to a game is actually really nice for organization. And I'm kind of mixed on this overall, because this definitely makes it easier to find titles when you have a lot of games on your Switch. But it took five years to add this. This is a really nice feature and really helps organize your Switch menu for anyone with a lot of downloaded titles. But it just would have been nice to have this sooner. And also, I think it would have been better to have this easily accessible from the very start of the home menu. Sure, again, it's only an extra button press or two to get to it, but small quality of life things like that make it much more easily accessible. It does make me miss the nice folder system of the 3DS with the themes and customizations to it all, but the idea of groups themselves is technically better, since you can sort games however you want. Favorites, sort out multiplayer specific, sort out Mario, sort out series specific, or sort out a backlog, for example. It's kind of nice, actually. But let's take a moment to get into what some others think. So we put out a tweet asking for your thoughts and impressions on this group system for the Switch, and also for you guys to share some of the ones you've made with us. So starting off with Eric Flapjack Ashley, one of our moderators. They say, while they're glad they didn't default them to the home screen, as that would be way too crowded for them, depending on how it was implemented, they think they should have added a button to the main page to access the groups. They do love how the same game can be in multiple groups and folders. And yeah, that's exactly how I feel too, because actually having the groups display on the home screen, I think definitely would have been a bit crowded, but making the button to pull up that menu not simply locked behind the all software menu, I think would have been better to do. Next up from Chris Randazzo saying, I love it and I'm glad it's not automatically on the home screen. I also love that you can put the same game in multiple folders. Helps me organize so I can search by what kind of game I want to play. Here's what I have so far. So they have games they have in progress, games to start, family time, quick play, versus, co-op, etc. Chris also replied with a separate group they have made for Bit Trip. And that's actually really fun because you can see how all the title screens come together in this one group. And I'm pretty fond of that actually. Next up from Timbo, or at Red Tea House, saying, I think the group option is a smart way to go about it, as opposed to the traditional folder system. The gripe about them not being accessible until you can see all software is fair though. I guess they couldn't make them work and keep the startup as snappy as they wanted. And yeah, that's something important to keep in mind. Nintendo wants the startup of the Switch to be very snappy and quick so you can get exactly where you want to from the very beginning. Putting this menu behind all software isn't that bad, because you can just tab over left once from the very start and immediately get there. Next from Adrian Brown saying, I think they do the job, though I understand why some people would prefer them on the home screen. And they have theirs broken into Nintendo, Mario, Zelda, fighting, racing, and more. And it, it is really nice seeing how people are choosing to organize these. Next from Digimon Survive saying, I like it more than simple folders. I'm using it as a sort of tag system to use when I don't know what to play. Depending on what kind of game I want to play, I can just load up that group, see all the games that fit that criteria, and pick one. Some games fit multiple criteria. And yeah, that's exactly true. I mean, I used the example of putting Mario Kart into multiple groups, and it's nice, honestly, because it means if you're 
Say you have a bunch of friends over and you want to play a bunch of multiplayer games, or as Digimon Survive has it here, game with friends, you can just open up that menu and see all your exact options right in front of you. Next up from Chris and Travis, saying, So far, it seems like it's unrealized. It's a step down from the 3DS organization, which is saying something because it was super basic. We definitely should have gotten the ability to group things on the home screen. Right now, I just grouped together my Pokemon games, Zelda, and Mario. And yeah, if you're not looking to use it more like a proper tag system, maybe you just don't have a lot of games, or maybe you're not looking to have that level of organization, then the folder system from the 3DS would be the better option to go. And it is interesting that they went with this instead. Next up from Slash Games 1120 saying, They're pretty cool, but I wish they would just show up on the regular home screen. Here's mine. And I love that they have a demos section because that's a pretty smart one that I'm probably going to do after this video. Nintendo Assorted, Free, and Miscellaneous. And finally, the last one in particular we'll highlight here is one that just made us really laugh with Chibi Robo Games, an empty group, as posted by Rock. Thank you, Rock. <laughs> because honestly, this one made me laugh. Overall, it seems like the general impressions to this is fairly mixed. People are positive and happy that we have some sort of new sorting system here on the Switch that makes things easier, but a lot also seem to feel that it's not as good as it could be. It could be easily accessed from the home menu. It could be a bit more organized, like actual folders and set of a tag system. And I think that comes down to a matter of preference, and I think that's totally fair. It is still nice to have more of these options finally available. With that, that'll wrap up this casual review and impressions on Switch version 14.0. But what do you guys think? Have you made any fun folders on your Switch? Let us know your thoughts down below, and be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for plenty more on the Nintendo Switch. Check out the videos on the right for more content you might be interested in. Until next time, farewell.